What's going on guys, Unknown Player here, and today do we have some cool stuff to talk about. The Curse of Osiris expansion had an official announcement with a ton of interesting stuff. So as usual, I've gone through picking up a bunch of things you may have missed. They always do hide things in there that's hard to spot in first glance. But there are new locations, mention of raid content, which is pretty interesting, we'll talk about that, as well as some new exotics, and also even returning exotics from Destiny 1, which is definitely very strange. But a lot of things to cover in this video. So this, of course, is going to be set on Mercury, as we knew, and we're going to be going there to fight the Vex and also rescue or meet with Osiris, one of the most legendary characters in all of Destiny history. So I'm really glad they're actually doing this, and they have paid him off pretty well. I mean, Destiny is always about teasing and foreboding some kind of future content, which does get a bit boring at times, but now we're finally getting into one of the most important characters in all of Destiny, which is really nice to see. So of course we are going to Mercury to face the Vex and the Infinite Forest, which is also, if you don't know, procedurally generated, meaning it does actually change and kind of randomize each time you go. It's hard to tell exactly where this location right here is. It's most likely on Mercury, but it's kind of inside this enclosure and also above clouds, which is definitely very strange for Mercury, but it's most likely there somewhere. And this could be the actual Infinite Forest. And each time you go, the platforms are randomly generated. Now, by far one of the most interesting things I found about this trailer is actually this scene right here, and this, believe it or not, is a cutscene or cinematic depicting the original Vault of Glass raid. That's right, this is showing Osiris and his original fire team, and of course, as we know, it did not go well. These were people like Osiris, Kabir, Pahanin, Pradith, and they were all erased from time, lost in time, and you can even see it inside the cinematic. So if you look very closely in the background, you can see guardians there that are frozen in time. They're not moving. This isn't a trailer thing. They're literally frozen. They're not being able to move their weapons are stuck and I absolutely cannot wait to see the full version of this cutscene but I'm guessing at the end we're going to see the Templar maybe Oracles maybe Atheon erasing these guys from time and that is when Osiris gets trapped inside the Vex gate system so trust me this is going to be a very very important cutscene and probably the most excited I've been for one cinematic in all Destiny so this thing I really want to see the original Vault of Glass basically. Now, does this mean that we ourselves are going to go into the Vault of Glass? I kind of doubt it. It's possible because there are, of course, audio files depicting us going back to Venus and back to the Vault of Glass in particular. So it's possible, but I'm not really too sure. At this point, this could just be a cinematic just to show how Osiris got where he is. But I wouldn't be surprised if we go through a portal and end up back there somehow. Now, something else I also wanted to highlight was, of course, this scene showing off the Lighthouse, which is the new social space in this expansion. We're all going to be going there to interact with vendors, and this is going to be a new social space on top of the tower and kind of the farm, I guess. Now, inside here, we can actually see a vendor, a disciple of Osiris, and it doesn't seem to be Brother Vance. If it is, he's got his hood down, but you can see his head there. So this is a new vendor we'll be interacting with where the flawless chest used to be. Now, something even more interesting is actually this scene right here, which shows off a destroyed and broken version of the same lighthouse. That's right, this is the same lighthouse area in the past scene, but it seems like the sun has been destroyed and the entire area has been abandoned almost. So, of course, we know we are going to be time traveling, but I'm guessing this is some sort of dark future we have to try and avoid, but a pretty interesting scene nonetheless. So next up, let's jump into all the new exotics, returning exotics, new gear, a bunch of stuff we can see inside the gameplay. So firstly, something that was pretty hard to spot was the Graviton Forfeit Exotic Hunter Helmet. This is returning, and this of course was a very popular exotic back in Destiny 1. This would simply give you Shade Step for free as a perk. Now obviously in Destiny 2, we have that always on every hunter, so this is definitely going to have some kind of new perk, and of course going to be Night Stalker themed. So the next one is actually a really strange gun, and this is the No Time to Explain you may remember from the Taken King expansion. So this is either the worst reskin in the world, and this is simply a pulse rifle just looking like the No Time to Explain, or it's the actual same weapon returning. So again, I'm not really too sure. It is the exact same model, there's no doubt about it. But the question is if this is legendary or exotic, this is 100% the No Time to Explain or Stranger's Rifle, the original weapon it was based off of. Now there's also the Telesto exotic fusion rifle. This thing fired kind of projectiles on a time detonation basis, so it would shoot them, and then after a second or two, they'd blow up. So it's a pretty fun exotic. There's also the Jade Rabbit. Now this is super interesting, because I covered this a few days ago, how this is being sold for the first time in two years by Zerk, because of course it was PlayStation exclusive back on Destiny 1. Now this, of course, is going to be returning. I would highly doubt this is PlayStation exclusive. Again, I do think it's going to be for everyone. But there you go, one of the most famous weapons, and you can see it there being held next to the Telesto. Now, something interesting to note is that what do all these returning exotics have in common? The Telesto, Jade Rabbit, No Time to Explain, Graviton Forfeit. They were all introduced inside the Taken King expansion. These are all year two exotics. So I wonder if this means some others are going to come back. 
Now, in my personal opinion, as I've said countless times, I'm not a fan of the idea of returning exotics. Even if they have new perks, I feel like they might as well just be new models because it's weird to see exotics we've seen for three years, but with different perks like Graviton Forfeit is going to be. I would much rather see completely new exotics and new stuff, but it does look like two years from now, we're pretty much going to have all the exotics from Destiny 1 back. So I just hope they keep the ratio of more new than old. But of course, let me know your thoughts. Now, in terms of new exotics, obviously these are harder to recognize than familiar ones, but there is a ton of gear in here that does look pretty unique and definitely more cool than legendary. You have the weapon Osiris himself is holding looking very unique, and it even has a Vex juice box, which is pretty funny, but at the same time, it does look a bit similar to the set of Vex themed weapons, so it's hard to say exactly what rarity this is. There's even the gauntlets that Osiris himself is wearing, which is hard to tell if these are just something he wears, his own personal things, or something we'll get as well. They're kind of like white versions of the Nothing Manacles or Sunbreakers, or even Sunbracers, so these could be something we get, or it could just be exotics for him. There's also a new Trace Rifle, which is cool to see as well. So of course the Cold Heart is the only Trace Rifle in the game right now, but Bungie did say they would be introducing more and fleshing out the Trace Rifle category, so I could see them bringing in a new exotic, and this being like a Solar or Void one, but again we can't be 100% sure of its rarity, just that some of the stuff does look a bit more impressive than Legendary, which is cool either way. So next up we're going to talk about the very important question of is there going to be a raid inside this expansion, which we still don't know for sure yet, but the description on the blog post is pretty interesting, it says... Curse of Osiris adds a new chapter to the world of Destiny 2, expanding the universe by adding an all new cinematic story with new and returning characters, a new destination to explore, Mercury and its infinite forest, a new social space to visit called the Lighthouse, new missions, new strikes, new raid content, new free roam activities, a world quest to complete and more. So the interesting term there is new raid content. Now it doesn't directly say a new raid, which I think it would if there was one, but new raid content is a very interesting term. This could be the Vault of Glass in some kind of remake, or it could be some new content being added to the leviathan either could be very possible but let me know down below what do you think they mean by new raid content i mean it could also simply mean there is new raid so i could honestly see it going either way because on one hand it does say new raid content which means new obviously not old not reskin not reimagined not from destiny one you couldn't really call the leviathan or vault of glass stuff new content you know so it is a bit misleading in that front but at the same time if there was a new raid they would simply put new raids so i'm not sure why they didn't i think it's possible there might not be a raid in this expansion which honestly i was kind of expecting i think it's a bit too good to be to get two raids in three months so let me know down below in the comment section do you think this expansion is going to have a raid and what do you think they mean by new raid content it is very ambiguous for sure so next up we're going to talk about the level cap inside this expansion it seems it's going to be raising to 25 as in a base level not just light level which is pretty strange so of course back in Destiny 1 the normal thing was for the level cap to increase, but normally the light level, not the base level. Now in Destiny 1 the original was 20, whereas your light level could get to 30. You could then get to 32 with the first expansion, Dark Below, and then with the House of Wolves you got to 34. But then Taken King was when they raised the base level from 20 to 40, and then your light level shot all the way up to like 310, 320. So it is pretty strange how this time around we're getting a base level increase, and that's going to be 25 now. I mean technically base level and even light level doesn't mean anything in this game, I think they definitely need to rework the system because it means nothing because the enemy scale with you and especially the two crucible modes trials and iron banner where it did matter no longer does so it's a pretty weird system but at least now we know the level cap is increasing so I also want to show off some pretty cool stuff at the end of this crucible map and this is pretty interesting because it shows an exotic emote of taking a selfie so you physically get in front of the camera and really close up do this weird thing which never been seen before so it's a pretty cool animation definitely going to be an exotic emote and there's also a look at the new updated kind of version of the loot system it seems to drop a ton of loot and he drops four blues and the token so we know with the dawning and the season two beginning there's going to be a new sandbox update and this appears to be it there's going to be a ton more loot drops inside crucible making it a bit more worthwhile of course right now in crucible you tend to get like one or two drops if you're lucky and some tokens but now it's going to be a bit similar to public events where you always get a bunch of blues they're going to raise your light level and on top of that you have a chance to get legendaries exotic stuff like that so this is a look at the new crucible updated loot system and it's definitely a lot more rewarding closer along the lines of public events which is cool now we also got to see our very first look at the second expansion for Destiny 2, that's definitely a big war mind vault, very similar to the Perfection Complex at the end of the Wrath of the Machine raid where you fight Axis, so this is going to be a really cool expansion, I absolutely love war mind so really excited for this. There's also a woman in the background which is most likely Anna Bray, because it does have Anna Bray's logo on it, the wolf, not the Iron Banner wolf but it's actually Anna Bray's personal logo, and she if you don't know is hinted at a ton of times all throughout Destiny 2, you can see scannables also with the war mines, and the location is pretty unrecognisable so who knows where that could be. 
So of course, do let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think of all this stuff? Osiris, the new gear, the exotics, Mercury. What are you thinking of this expansion? Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with it. I wasn't expecting much in terms of story. They've done so much teasing, so much foreboding, so much hinting about what's to come in the future. And especially with Osiris, it's been a bit kind of boring how much they just tease stuff. But now we are finally get to see him, meet him, and see what happened in the Vault of Glass when his original raid went down. So I'm really excited just for the story aspect. The exotics and gear is cool, but I just love the story in this game. So I'm really, really interested to see what's going to happen i want to see the templar erasing them from time but there you go a look at curse of osiris launching 5th of december and i actually did predict that date a while back when we first saw cold heart the date was the 5th of december it becomes available to everyone so there you go that is the real date but hopefully you enjoyed the video as always if you did and want to help support the channel a like rating down below would be much appreciated make sure you are subscribed for a bunch more curse of osiris news information and destiny 2 videos in general if you want to watch a video i made talking about siva inside destiny 2 a lot of interesting stuff then click the image on screen right now and i'll see you guys in the next one